G'day YouTube, this is the Maddest Man here coming to you live again uh, from my home down in Victoria. Anyway, what have I got here? This is a Mitsubishi Lancer. Um, now, you might be wondering, why do I have another car? Well, actually, it's not another car. My uh, Mitsubishi Triton is in for a service today, and they gave me the pleasure of driving this brand new Mitsubishi Lancer around. So, it's a nice deepish reddish colour, um, but I thought I'd do a little bit of a review of what I think of it. Um, for a car that is in the $20,000 range, I think they go for around $22,000, maybe $25,000, uh, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Um, beautiful alloy wheels that uh, really make this car stand out. A really nice front end which makes the car look kind of sexy in, in some ways and has a lot of appeal for younger drivers. Um, beautiful twin headlights. So you, know, you got your uh, normal uh, low, low beam and high beam and two spotlights in there. Clear indicators or near clear. They're kind of clear, but they're not because inside it, it has the orange marks. Um, four doors. It is a full sedan. At the back you have these fancy nice roundish looking lights that make it stand out as a more sportsy look. Um, this is an ES model I believe, um, not too entirely sure about that, correct me if I'm wrong guys. Um, so we'll go into the boot first because I'm at the back of the car. As you can see from this video it is fairly roomy in there. Uh, you can fit a few toolboxes or lots and lots of shopping if you buy this as a family slash um, car to drive around or if you're a young person or a young woman that wants a small car it's absolutely great for you guys so we'll move on to the inside now inside the doors you can see that we have our electric mirror control electric window control and Pretty standard this is actually a soft textured door you push that so it's got a nice feel to it very very high though if you like to rest on your or rest your arms on the armrests at the top or rest it against the window it is very high and can be uncomfortable in that uh, in that fashion uh, not quite enough room in there to stick your two litre bottles in the doors but it is a small car you have next to your seat your seat can be adjusted up down the back goes forwards and backwards and of course your normal sliders uh, down here you have your fuel cap release and your uh, boot release uh, bonnet release is in there somewhere traction control is standard cruise control uh, integrated uh, sports steering with your uh, Bluetooth functions and radio functions and there you have your interior uh, dashboard is fully readable at all times, even when the car is turned off. Oops. Nice and easy read speedos and cluster, which also will give you your average fuel economy. If you put the key in and turn it on, there's a lot of other information that comes up on there. And a lot of noise and beeping alarms. Uh, cup holders, a six-speed automatic which is absolutely fantastic to drive, I must say, for an auto. It's one of the better ones I've driven. Um, this model hasn't got climate control. I'm not sure if they do come out with it, but very simple, easy to use buttons and an easy to use radio. So, now I'm, I'm a fairly big guy. I'm five foot 11 and as you can see here, the back seat still has enough space one, with my seating position. So if I go and sit in here, as you can see, not too tight at all. So these the back. One thing that this car doesn't have, which some others may have, is rear air conditioners. The speakers are in the doors and an ample Oh, I just saw that. Pull down to make it a bit more comfortable in the middle. Armrest and two cup holders in there. Not 
not to forget your front seat belts are fully adjustable. So now we uh, pop the bonnet and have a look underneath what's underneath the hood of this car. Um, fairly big looking engine, but it's actually only a four cylinder. Um, I believe they are a two litre. Uh, again, correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't done my research here, I'm just making a video as I go. Um, air filters, your ECUs down here, ABS brakes, braking, master cylinder, etc. And coolant bottles here, it uses a standard filler cap, but actually no, it doesn't because it runs. I oh, know, yes it does, it runs separate to the actual um, radiator, which runs underneath there there's your radiator this is actually in the upper or upper pipe of your um of your of your radiator hose which is a different design again um so that's just your check bottle um fluid for your windscreen pretty simple layout uh, a lot of room to work on the motor as you can see at the back there that's actually the exhaust manifold so if you ever wanted to work on this thing i'd imagine it'd be fairly easy to work on it has got a very long nose for a front wheel drive car um, looks like you could just about fit a v8 into this thing without too much trouble uh, air intake is plastic just like most modern cars and of course your serpentine belts running on the left hand side of this vehicle power steering is on one side alternator and i think the compressor's down the bottom probably at the bottom of this hose here so anyway yeah, um pretty simple um like most modern cars everything is plastic so not much giving them if you have an accident they'll just crumple and that's what they meant to do so it saves your life anyway um i would set up normally a camera inside the car and do a bit of a test run but i can already assure you that this car has a lot of power and a lot of go the smooth the gearbox is as smooth as silk uh, you do not feel the gear changes and when you kick it down through the gears you barely even notice it it just revs right up and gets moving so i'm gonna uh just start the car up now just to show you the functionalities of this car okay so it's telling me to fasten my seat belt i might have to do that <laughs> hang on a second Okay, now that I've fastened my seatbelt, we get the information about it's telling me that I haven't used any fuel yet. But uh, on the dashboard there, it tells you your outside temperature and it also tells you what gear you're in. As there is no lights, I don't think, on the actual column on the shifter, so you don't know what gear you're in unless you're looking up the top. You also have Tiptronic, a Tiptronic gearbox. So, very, very um, simple. It is six speed. So, uh, this thing really races. And uh, I'll drive it, but <laughs> I can't hold the camera and drive this at the same time. It's just too dangerous. So, we go into reverse. Now for those who have never used one of these, you actually don't have to push a button, you just slide it around into the right spots. Now, if you do not have your foot on the brakes in park, it will not release. You actually have to push the brake button to take it out of gear or put it into gear. So, um, internally, ample space in there, um, cigarette lighter glove box fairly big handbrake this actually has a cover on it and i think no sorry it doesn't but yeah um windows or should i say that with a mirror inside there i think that's a sunglass holder um internal lights that work either on doors i don't know how oh yes you push them and they come on too easy uh, microphone for your Bluetooth system 
caution area of airbags, another mirror inside the passenger side, dome light. I don't know what the door switch does, I think. I have no idea. Ah, oh, that will come on automatically at the door. So if I open the door now, yes, it does turn on. And if you put it off, it won't. Only the center stays on. So we'll leave that as it is. Standard reverse mirror and pretty easy to use Bluetooth system. So anyway, um, everything is voice controlled as well on this car, just like the Triton is and the info that you can get i'll just run through them on the dashboard it's your trip meter number one trip meter number two um 9300 k's before your service or estimated of three months uh, your temperature of your car which i'm surprised they don't have both of that information running all the time 90 k's so the tank runs out of fuel and your average liters per hundred which seems to reset every time you start the car so that's that. This button here will dim your, your information panels down. As you can see. And when you turn the headlights on, it runs a different dim stage. So that can be dim right down to nothing till you can barely read it. So, um, yeah, very, um, very nice. It is fairly quiet, idling, it's smooth. Uh, it is smooth to drive as well. Um, the only thing that I must say is a little bit of a negative is the amount of road vibration that you get at, let's say, 100 to 110 k's an hour. Uh, you can actually feel a lot of the road. Um, but other than that, it might be just tyre pressures on this car. could be very high. Uh, that can be all adjusted. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you want to see more, just subscribe. Anyway, this is the Maddest Man over and out.